بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واعلموا أن فيكم رسول الله وَاعْلَمُوا أَنَّ فِيكُمْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ لَوْ يُطِيعُكُمْ فِي كَثِيرٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْرِ لَعَنِتْ ولكن الله حبب إليكم الإيمان ولكن حبب إليكم الإيمان وزينه في قلوبكم وكره إليكم الكفر والفسوق والعصيان أولئك هم فضلا من الله ونعمة فضلا من الله ونعمة والله عليم حكيم والله عليم حكيم صدق الله العلي العظيم السلام عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وسلام على المرسلين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي وقل رب أدخلني مدخل الصدق وأخرجني مخرج الصدق وجعلني من لدنك سلطانا نسيرا. At the beginning, we all together recite the uh, supplication uh, and we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hasten the global reappearance of Imam Mahdi Ajalallah ta'ala Farajah al Sharif together. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم كن لوليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه 
في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك توعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا So this is the topic that I have prepared for you. Prophetic education as mirrored in Revelation. My style is not the case that I could be mono speaker. Just I give lectures. I request you kindly to have, instead of monologue, dialogue. And for having dialogue, you need to share with me one part I say, and the remaining part you help me not leave you in a moment of sleeping. If you just listen to me, as well as the right of teacher, I will have the right of motherhood on all of you. Because my lecturing will be a type of la 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 la, la la -i. And then you go to a deep, deep sleep. Not to go to a deep sleep, you need to repeat the second part. So, the topic is prophetic education as Is it necessary to have these yeah. tertiary lights? Yeah. Okay. And do you see the yes, phones? Yes. Okay. I, I'll check, I'll test. If you repeat immediately in a clear way after me, it means that everything is going okay. Otherwise, we have to turn off this tertiary light. So, prophetic education as in revelation. revelation. Prophetic education is my terminology. You won't find in any article, any book, any discussion, prophetic education. All you find is Islamic educational system. You won't find prophetic because normally the people, particularly the businessman, they go by prophet means interest. So when they talk about prophetic, means the place that they will find some interest. But this prophetic comes from prophethood, messengership. This is my terminology. I believe that if you want to discover Islamic educational system in the Holy Quran, it will be under the title of what? Prophetic education a special type of education related to prophets. Do I mean Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks in a, in a large general way. هُوَ الَّذِي بَعَثَ فِي الْأُمِّيِّينَ From the beginning, Adam, to the end, khata. So prophetic means a type of education related to prophets. Adam to khata. Prophetic education as mirror in the Quran. Two, just I deal with two aspects only. When you want to talk about educational system, Islamic educational system, there are many facets, many dimensions. I just focus on two. One, characteristics. Second, stages. 
what are the characteristics and what are the stages. This could be a role model for all educators, for all educational system. Okay? Those who want to follow the prophetic educational model, what are the characteristics? With our children, our students, our young generation, when we want to educate them, how could we follow Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in education? What are the characteristics? What are the stages? From where? In where? To where? Stages, phases. Okay? So I focus on these two aspects. Characteristics and stages. Three and three. Three characteristics and three stages. Normally when you offer and present a presentation, you have to clarify for the audience what your methodology. When you say as mirrored in the Quran, based on what methodology you extract, you discover, you came up with these types of characteristics. What is your method methodology? My methodology is content analysis. We have two types of researches, quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative and qualitative. So one of the qualitative methods in research is content analysis. You take a content and you try to analyze the content to come up, to discover, to find out whatever you are looking for. So this is the content, the methodology. When I consulted with the Holy Quran through different chapters, different verses, I explored, I discovered that there are three main characteristics for prophetic education. All prophets, from Adam to Khata, they were following these three characteristics. So if we are going to have the same product, the same educated trainees, we need to follow and to observe and to keep these three main characteristics. Number one, you. Number one, innate-centered innate prophetic education is innate-centered. Two, learner-centered. Three, reciprocal and interactive. These are the best qualified methods for teaching and training someone. When you want to teach or train someone, you have to go to the avenue of fitra. Innate nature. Number two, the burden of education must be on the shoulder of learner, not the teacher. You just teach. Who learns? So always the learner and the, train, and the trainee must make some efforts. You should not be passive. Active, active participation. And second, education is not one way road. It's a give and take. When you teach, you also qualify and quantify your knowledge. Not only the learner will learn, but also the teacher, the instructor also develop his or her knowledge. So, what are the three characteristics? A net center, learner center, reciprocal and interactive. What are the stages? Again, in according to the Quranic verses, 
There are three stages for all who want to have a prophetic model. Number one, recitation of verses. Number two, what? Purification. Number three, teaching, teaching the scripture and the wisdom. There are three verses in the whole Quran. One in chapter Juma, the other in chapter Bagara, the other in chapter Al Imran. These three verses, if you put it together, you come up with these three stages. So we recite together number two from chapter Juma. Are you ready? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. Use your energy. Don't keep silent. We had a contract from the beginning that this is not monologue. This is what? Dialogue. I need your. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. In a fresh, active way, not in a very exhausted, you know, sleeping. Walladi, ba'atha fil ummiyina, rasoolam minhum, yatlu alayhim ayatih. وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ضَلَالٍ Keep in mind that I'm just testing your IQ. At the end of lecture, I test your EQ. But during the lecture, I test your IQ. Be very careful not to give me a bad image from yourself, please. Okay. Uh, verse number? Two, from chapter Al Jumu'ah, who are led by the fil ummiyina, Rasulam minhum to do what? Yatlu alayhim ayate. What? What does it mean? Recitation of the divine verses. Wa yuzakkihim and purify them. وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ And to teach them the scripture and, and wisdom. Question for you. Before you question me, you provide me question, I provide question. Number one. يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِ The very first task of a teacher is what? Recite the verses. Can you kindly tell me what is the difference between yetlu and yakra? Because in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in chapter, Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Iqra, bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq, khalaq al-insana min علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم What is the difference between اقرأ وأتلو واتلو عليهم نبأ الذي آتيناه آياتنا 
What is the difference between talawa and ghira'ah? The very first task of a teacher is tilawa, not qara'ah. They don't read, they recite. What is the difference between reading and reciting? You read the Quran or recite the Quran? Or both of them? When, when? When this one and when the other one? To read them meaning there is so why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't use Iqra. Yagra Yagra Ualayhim Ayati. Is it because the teacher should believe in what they're teaching? Uh, the teacher should believe in what he or she teaches. If he doesn't believe it's not Yatulu, is Yagra. For example, when the teacher says, keep in mind that do you spring, over spring, like a spring, in a spring? For example, as a teacher, you want to provide the meaning of spring. What does spring mean in English language? Do you spring, in a spring? Like a spring, over a spring. All are spring, so different meaning. Do you jump over river like spring? In spring, not in fall. What is the difference between read and recite? Do we read the Quran or recite the Quran? You say Qari or you say Tali? Both of them. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There are many reciters of Quran that Quran itself cursed them. Quran does not want them to recite. They are the reciter, but Quran. Who are those people who recite, but Quran ask them to distance? Those who just recite. Those who don't understand. Those who? Don't understand. No, 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 no. Jahat and ignorance is not your sin. Those who are not willing to be conscientized. Anzalna ilaykum dhikr. What does dhikr mean? What does, what does dhikr mean? Dhikr means tackling the mind. Eradication of ignorance means dhikr. Dhikr. Quran is a book of eradication of ignorance so if you recite and there is no change it means that you are not reciter you are singer there are many singers with very nice voice when I recite subhanallah subhanallah akbar but there is no change neither in your mind nor in your Heart. But when I recite and you feel something, it means that I am the reciter. This is a sign. This is a signal.
So, talawa could be from yourself, could be you recite for some other people. Okay? Talawa includes two sides. Number one, self-reading. Number two, reading for others. This is talawa. So what is the difference between talawa and qara'a? In qara'a, you stay at the surface of, of words and vocabularies and the structure. In talawa, you go deep, a layer, just one layer. You don't go deep because Quran has seven layers. Sab'a butun. Sab'a butun. You go just. Some people go at half a, the first layer. Half of the first layer. And do you know what is that? Translation. Just put beside word, beside word. Word beside word. What do you mean by prophet, messenger? What do you mean by messenger? So what is the difference between messenger and prophet? So these are the half of the first layer. Then you go deeper to interpretation. Tafsir. Then you go deeper to what? Ta'wil. Ta'wil is one layer deeper. Only the ma'sumin, only the ma'sumin could arrive at ta'wil. And always ma'sumin are not able to provide you the true meaning of ta'wil. Just they look at your face and they evaluate your mind and they say, in according to your level of So don't say that Imam Sadiq says this. Yes, Imam Sadiq says this to whom? To Khomein or to Ibn Abbas? If this is Ibn Abbas, it's at the surface. If Khomein, deeper. If Sa'ad, Sa deeper. Because companions are not located at the same level. Lo alima Abu Dhar ma fi qalb Salman la kafarahu. Look, it's not joke. Lo alima Abu Dhar ma fi qalb Salman. Do what? La kafarahu. If Abu Zan knew that what is going in the heart of Salman, verily, he would say he's kafir. Abu Zan, the highest level companion of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ma tala al-shamsu ala ahadin aslaq min Abu Zan. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said Abu Zar is the most righteous person in the whole world. Ma talat al-shams. Again, still there are layers, stages. Lo alima Abu Zar ma fi qalb salman la kafarahu. If Abu Dhar knew that what is going in the heart of Salman, verily he would say Salman is atheist. <laughs> Why? Aren't they both Muslims? True companions? This is the same story with regard to us relating to Imam Mahdi. Say, 
Some people stay at the surface. They do prayer, fasting, go to Hajj, you know, not bigger than this. If you go, they say, no, 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 you are extremist. And this is the alaim of the end of time. Alaim akhir zaman. People are not able to keep their faith. It's like keeping a burnt charcoal within a bunch of cotton. Does it remain? No, of course. So, the very first task of prophets is what? When they come to humanity. Yatlu alayhim ayate. What does it mean? Tell me. Yatlu means what? Recitation. What is the difference between recitation and reading? One layer deep. One layer just. Okay. So. Yatlu alayhim ayate. When prophets come to humanity, what is the very first task? They recite the divine verses. Yatlu alayhim ayatehi. Ayat of whom? Ayat of whom? Tell me. What? Ayat of? Allah. What do you mean by ayatehi? It means the verses of Quran? Is it the verses of Quran? No. Why no? Because the same Quran says there are three jobs, three stages, three phases. Number one, recitation of the divine verses. Number two, yuzakkihim, purification. Number three, yuallimuhumul kitab wal hikmah. So the teaching and instructing of the divine books is the Third stage, still there is no Quranic verses. They are located at the first stage. What do they do? Yatlu alayhim ayate. Which ayat? Which signs? You need to take help from theology. To understand this ayah, you have to take help. From where? Theology. You just close the Quran and you go to theology. Oh, the theologian, salamu alaikum. What type of verses do we have in Islam? He or she will tell you there are two types of two types of Verses. Number one. Ayatul Takween. Number two. Ayatul Tashri'ah. So, how many types do we have? What? Number one. Ayatul Takween. Number two. Ayatul Tashri'ah. Ayatul Tashri'ah means the verses which come from Sharia, from religion. What are the ayats which come from Sharia? This. This is the main reference of Sharia. So ayat to tashri' means this. These are ayat to tashri' So, what are ayat al takwin Ayat al takwin means before coming down 
and descending any religion. What are Ayatul Taqweed? Ayatul Taqweed means the verses of creation. Not creationism. The verses of creation. So what are the verses of creation? Just one. Then, then, samawat wal ard jinn wal ins. Then, mountains. Then, oceans. Then, deserts. Then, animals. Then, vegetarian kingdom. Then, insan. Then. Mouth, death and life. Death and life. These are the, you know, signs and verses of creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one verse, just in one verse, in the Holy Quran, rapidly explains what are ayatul taqwim. Rapidly, very fast. Only the sharp-minded people grasp it. Grasp it. And do you know what are the ayat al takwi? We recite together. A'udhu billahi min ash shaytan ir rajeem. Kindly in a fresh way, not in a very exhausted way. You, you are saying, A'udhu billahi min ash shaytan ir rajeem. This is exhausting way. And you make me bored, please. I am talking, you are listening. So, A'udhu Billahi min ash shaytan ir rajeem. Sanurihim. Are you with me? Sanurihim. Ayatina. في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق Keep the red, please. Annahu al-haqq. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ayat al-Takwin is divided into two types. Ayat al-Afaq. Ayat al-Anfus. External signs and internal signs. What are external signs? Whatever you said. Mouth, hayat, mountain, deserts, oceans, whatever. These are all external. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has afforded another type of ayah, which is <coughs> anfus. What is ayatul anfus? Internal signs? Nafs. What is nafs? So Ayatul Anfus refers to Fatra. Innate nature. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created humanity in a way that whether you are religious or non-religious, in a religious family, or you have a fatra. And fitra is different than instinct. Instinct is, is common between animals and human beings. Fitra is unique to humanity. And what is fitra? وَأَغِمْ لِلدِّينِ حَنِيفًا فطرة الله التي فطر الناس عليها لا تبديل لخلق الله ذلك الدين القيم ولكن 
ان اكثر الناس لا يعلمون you see so beautiful so clear it's not something obscure very clear you catch it because it talks with your fitra it talks with your inner self so having this in mind i ask you the question i repeat my first question when prophets come to humanity as teachers as instructors at the first stage what do they do yatlu alayhim they recite the divine what quran what does quran mean when he says yatlu alayhim ayat which type of verses internal only internal external both of them is there or sanurihim sanurihim we will show them ayatina our verses both fil afaq in outside wa fi anfusihim and in within inside them to show what hatta yatabayyana lahum until it will clarify for them annahu alhaq that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the very truth of the whole universe you know for almost 5 years i was thinking about the true meaning of recitation of the divine verse and i didn't understand i refer to different tafsir tafsir al mizan majma al bayan al bayan different tafsir sunni shia to realize that what allah subhanahu wa what does he mean when he says yatlu alayhim ayat still is not the time of purification still is not the time of teaching and instruction before any effort training or teaching teachers in need of one effort and what is that what is that recitation i was looking for the true meaning of recitation until i came across one of the very important word of paulo freire who tell me please paulo freire a brazilian philosopher philosopher in education paulo freire freire Paulo Freire he died at 1995 he was the head at the united nation for the literacy campaign paulo freire he has written about 50 volumes the very first one is what the very first one is pedagogy of the oppressed what what pedagogy of the oppressed what does it mean he is a communist he is not a believer he is atheist he was the head of literacy campaign at died on 95 and he created a new vocabulary in philosophy of education and he said every teacher male or female if he wants or she wants to have effective education teaching and training he or she is in need of what one word this is his word 
his terminology, inserted in philosophy of education, not Islamic, philosophy of education as a whole. And do you know what is that terminology? Conscientization. Can you tell me, please? Conscientization. Tell me, please. All together, please. With red, please. This is red. Conscientization. Conscientization. What does it mean? The very first task of every and each educator is to create consciousness. If teacher is not able to create consciousness, awareness in your learner, you are not a successful teacher. The very first task is what? It to make person to understand him or herself. What is the topic of your session? You see? Prophet as a role model. How? I assume, I'm not sure, Wallahu wal alim. I assume that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in three different places in the Holy Quran says the very first task of all prophets and messengers is what? Yatlu alayhim. What does it mean? Yatlu means afford, affordance, provision. Yatlu. It does not necessarily mean reading or reciting. Affordance, presenting, offering. Okay. Whether in oral way, in written word, software, hardware, whatever. People are different. Some people must sing for them. Some other must provide them articles. The other must refer them to Ayatollah Gujel. Some other this and that. So I assume, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help me not to be in, in a wrong way. I believe that it could be The truth that yatlu alayhim ayatih. Ayat means alamat. Al aya means alama. Verse means what? Verse means sign. Sign. For example, do you know what universe means? What does universe mean? We, we all live in world. Universe. What does universe mean? Uni means? Verse means? The whole universe is one singing. There is no dichotomy. There is no contradiction in the whole creation. The whole creation is like one singing, one concert, one rhythm. If, if it happens for each of us to have a chromosome problem, a gene problem, you know, the harmony between chromosomes and genes will disappear. Then the person will be feeble-minded. <laughs> Left eye. What happened? This poor person doesn't have any sin. We have to catch the 
the dress of parents. Why did you do this to this poor innocent person? You create this harmony in chromosomes and genes. He goes to school, but he does not want to listen. <laughs> I want to play. I want to escape. Escape the school. Good boy, good girl, go to school. You won't be an engineer in future. You will be a beggar. Go, sit and listen. I will give you a gift. Even if you give me the whole world as a gift, I don't accept. Why? Because there is a problem inside. Fitrat Allah allati fatara al-nas alayha la tabdila li khalq Allah. But parents created change. Was it unwillingly? No, willingly they decided to do this. To get married at this time. Time and places has impact. So I believe the very first stage of prophetic education is what? Affording and providing the divine signs. What does it mean? It means that the very first stage of education is the fact that you have to tackle the mind of your learner and your trainee to be able to understand what? Myself. Who am I? If the learner realized that who is he or who is she? Don't worry. It's like automatic watch. It doesn't in need of regulation each and every day and night. Live. It goes. Because he or she has realized himself or herself. Paulo Freire was the head of what? Literacy campaign. At where? United Nations. And he said, I'm creating a change. The whole world is under colony. Under colony of what? This is not my world. This is Polo Freire. He said the whole world is under colony. Restriction. What is that? Restriction of information. They don't let people to realize, discover themselves. They overload them every time. They make them busy. Early morning to late night. They run, 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 run. And they come up with alienation. Nasullah anfusahum. Nasullah faansahum anfusahum. They have forgotten Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made them to forget themselves. They are lost. Alienated. He said, what is literacy? Tell me. What is the very first stage of literacy? Who is a literate person? Tell me, please. The one who is able to write and read. Write what? At least his or her name. And to be able to, instead of putting the finger, give a signature. He said, this is the first step of literacy. He said, this is colonializing humanity. This is the soft colonialization. Why? Because you say, do you like 
Would you like to be a literate person? Yes, I do. Then go 10 sessions. Then after 10 sessions, you will be able to. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alif Lam Is it enough to be able to read? This is the end of the story. He said, although humanity is in need of reading and writing, not just the name, reading and writing, but more important than this is to have a... What? Smart mind. More important for humanity. What, what do you mean by literacy? By education. Providing the ability to. To think. To know. To aware. But because he was communist. He told that for me. Awareness means. Sociopolitical awareness. You know where you live. What you do. And what the government and political officials are doing to you, to your life. If you are aware, you are literate, educated. If you are not aware, you are not literate. He said, for me, conscientization means what? Conscientization means awareness with regard to Socio-political circumstances. You have to be aware what they are doing to you, to your country, to your wealth, to your health, to your education, to your faith. If you are aware, you are human being. You are literate. If you are not aware, you are illiterate. You are human being, but illiterate. To me, although socio-political awareness and consciousness is necessary, but is not, is not enough. What is the true awareness? Ali ibn Abi Talib salawatullahi wa salamu Rahimallahum re'an arifa min ayna wa fi ayna wa ila May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the one who knows from where, in where, and to where. This is awareness. So prophets came to humanity to show them the road map. The road map. This is yatlu alayhim. You may find Muslim scholars that they disagree with Mr. Shamili. Because this is my humble understanding from this verse. Yatlu alayhim ayate. Before teaching the divine books means what? Creating the awareness in your learner and trainee. The very first task. Whether your children, your students, members of your community, inhabitants, citizens. What is the first stage of education? Creating awareness. I stop here. Because if I go to the next step, it is in need of explanation. I stop here. First stage is creating self-consciousness, self-understanding. Through what? Show them their capacities, their potentialities. Tell them that you could be this and this. Don't stick with this low level. Go forward. 
encouragement, encouragement, push, but not forceful push, conscious force. Yatlu alayhim ayat. And this ayat, according to another ayah, sanurihim ayatina fil afaq wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyan lahum annahum haq. So, I leave you here, okay?